Hello everybody, it's Silver Sherman, and welcome back to more Mario Super Sluggers. In the last episode, we rescued Tiny Kong from Bowser Jr.'s clutches, fought some more critters, and recruited them, as well as their leader, King K. Rool. This time, we'll be leaving DK Jungle, and headed on to the next area. Uh, okay, so, Wario City is, of course, Wario Stadium, and it's pretty cool. Fun fact about the actual ballpark here, I believe it's the second easiest place to get a home run. The first is an unlockable stage. Great pea soup! The stage is covered with fog! I can't see a thing! Wah! Wow, anyone there? That sounds like Wario! I wonder where he is. Over here, cloud boy! I'm on top of this building! You got here just in time! That lying little lizard, Bowser Jr., trapped me! He said there was treasure up here, but when I climbed to the top, the power went out all over town. Then the stupid fog rolled in. I see Wario hasn't changed a bit. Get over here and help me. The elevator stopped and I can't get down. It needs power. Look around to see if you can find what's busted. So, we've gotta take out the fog and rescue Wario. If you try to go much further... This fog is gonna be thick. I don't think we can go this way. So, all we can do here is... Oh, that just said stadium and exit. What does this one say? Oh, shop. This one. So, all we can do is talk to Goomba. Hi there, name's Goomba. This is my shop. I heard Wario Bellino over there, too. What a chump, am I right? Listen, my neon sign just went out for no reason. You think you can fix it? I'm no good at, uh, what you call them, delicate maneuvers. Is that because you don't have arms? If you could trace the outlines, my beautiful neon sign will turn back on. Use the Wii remote to point, then press an old A to trace the outline of the objects. You can start wherever, just don't let the line break before you finish. Capiche? So, just start anywhere. And try and trace the W. It's pretty forgiving. And now we gotta do the garlic. There we go. And now this bomb. And we're done. And now all the neon turns on somehow, and the fog, some of the fog goes away. Hey, you did it, and the light seems to be pushing that fog away. Hey, thanks for helping me out, friend. Now I can open my shop for business. How's that again? You want me to go with you? Uh, well, I guess it might be good for business. Ah, uh, what the hey? I love baseball, so I'll give it a shot. And we have Goomba, a good bunter, a good bunter who also pitches well, and he has Ball Dash. Somehow Goomba can play baseball even though he doesn't have any arms or hands. And his shop is open. Nothing really important here. As you can see, the fog is still thick this way, so can't do anything about that. And there's a paratrooper here. Hello, hey, you're the guys who got rid of all the fog, right? Thanks to you, I can finally see this billboard. Ah, oh, Bass Jr. must have erased it. It's just a big blank space. If I had a brush, I could paint a new picture. But I lent it to Red Yoshi a while back and haven't seen it since. So, we can't... We can't... You, we can't do anything with these palm trees. And there's a Koopa. Troopa. Hey, you there, where are you headed? Now, why would you want to go climb and climb a building? Huh? Wario's up there? Well, this fog sure complicates matters. Too bad the lighthouse is out of power. Hey, wait just a second. Can you guys go and see what's up with the lighthouse? If you get the light back on, the fog should clear out in no time. Uh. 
can't get this way because Smooth Fox. Let's go take a look inside the lighthouse. You go to the lighthouse and it's a yellow magic Koopa. Hoo ha, that's far enough. This lighthouse is off limits. Is is somebody there? Help, I'm locked inside the in the lighthouse. Her, her, did you come to light a candle and curse the darkness? No one curses the darkness when I'm around and we're out of candles. Um, I don't think that's how the saying goes. Quiet, you, this is my lighthouse. I'll make candle jokes if I want. So now we've gotta get rid of this guy. And our mission is to hit the sweet spot. So why not use a critter? Around and around we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Red. Now, the thing about the sweet spot is it's apparently actually harder to hit the sweet spot if you use a charge swing, but hitting the sweet spot with a charge swing usually result uh, is the easiest way to get a home run. Connect with the sweet spot for a clean hit. Get three hits and ten tries to clear. You know you've hit the sweet spot if it says nice hit. Yeah, I should not use charge swings. There we go. Uh, that's just great. Oh wait, that counted- that was the sweet spot! <laughs> and that was definitely the sweet spot, and almost a home run. I was instinctively shaking the remote to run even though he's not even running the bases. That mission is clear. Take that. Greasy ghoulish. I can't believe you bench warmers beat me. Don't look at me like that. Save those guppy dog eyes for some other loser. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man angry and hungry for pies. Sure. I do believe he's lost it. You haven't heard the last of me. And it's a paratrooper. Ooh, thanks. I rushed over here so I could turn on the lighthouse, but that yellow guy sealed me in there with magic good grief. He talks a lot. Anyway, just wait here while I turn the lighthouse back on. Now the lighthouse is on. And more of the fog goes away. Thanks for waiting. That's much better, isn't it? The fog is clearing out, too. I think I misheard you. Did you say you want me to go with you? You did? Oh, well, alright then, count me in. Let's take back the park and get busy playing baseball. And we have Paratroopa uses super jump to catch high flies. Of course, his wings give him that super jump ability. Wow, you did it! Now keep up the good work and hustle over here. Since there's no power, the elevator's out of service. You'll have to climb the vine. The crates are in the way. Shh, smash them! Vine climbing and crate smashing. You need someone strong and hairy. I don't know what hairiness has to do with either of those things, but... We have Donkey Kong, so we can do that. Look at that! Behind the crates are some steel boxes. Uh-oh, not even Donkey Kong can budge them? If only there was a way to pull them. Some force. Some natural, attractive force. Hmm. So there's another crate over here. And we can climb up to Wario. I don't even see an elevator around here. It's probably inside the building, which you can't even get into. Oh, yeah. What took you so long, losers? I'm so hungry, I could eat five of you. The only place without electricity is the ballpark. Maybe the dynamo is busted. It's the delicious-looking garlic-shaped building over there. Yeah, something stinks, and it ain't me. There are bad guy losers around somewhere. Well, lucky you, I'm joining up. Now let's get to the dynamo on the double. And if we come across any treasure chests, they're mine. Got it? Because I can open them. I've got a magnet, too. I can have metal from any distance. And it also works on coins. And we have Wario. Good stamina, great contact zone. 
He has a phony ball, which creates two b t two balls, and the batter ha basically has to guess which one. But if you're playing against someone who's only using the Wii Remote vertically, it's pretty much useless since it always points them towards the right ball, since you can't move the batter on your own. Phony swing encases the ball in a bomb bomb and, and can blow up the fielders. And he has laser beam the throw to home. Okay, we'll get down off the building. And we can now play as Wario. So we just stand here. Wow, under them containers. Are those rails? I bet my mighty magnet is just the ticket we need. So we can use this magnet to move these. Yes, Wario's the attractive force. <laughs> oh, it moves. It moved. I thought, who's a genius? Wario, that's who. I'll take care of these worthless containers in no time at all. Stand where you want to move them and press A. Okay, so now we gotta change back to Wario and take care of this crate. And it's a boo. Too late. You must have taken the long way here. I've been waiting here so long my feet have started to fall asleep. What? I don't have feet? Oh, right. Well, you're still late. Laugh already! Having no sense of humor is gonna get you punished. We didn't have an appointment here, so how are we late? So anyway, we've got a special ability mission. Select the character who can throw a laser beam. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and use King K rule. So we're out in left field, and Goomba's pitching. This character can throw a laser strike to home, get three outs and ten chances to proceed. And you can see they've got Blue Critter on third base, so we gotta stop him from coming home. I don't think it really matters if you catch the ball or not. And as you can see, that laser beam is pretty great. But there's sometimes when the laser beam doesn't activate, I'm not sure what the criteria is. I purposely waited. I have to, I have hoped it would be a close play. Did I get it? Yes! Now that's how you end a mission. Not sure why they gave King K. Rule Egyptian garb for this game. Hoo hoo hoo, that was pretty impressive. If you're looking to fill your roster, I'll play along. Boo hoo, Bowser's minions, it's punishment time. Hoo hoo hoo. The interesting thing is, at the beginning of the game, we saw a boo come out of. Bowser Jr. playroom with Bowser Jr., but he's not on his team. Boo, excellent bat control, but poor power. And he has teleport. In a close play, if he's the runner, he'll simply disappear and not hit the, the fielder back at all, which is kind of lame. Uh, so just change to Wario. Move this crate over here. Back and over here. There we go. Uh, that's clear, but we can't do anything about that manhole cover. Uh, I'm gonna walk around for a second. So Wario can dig through trash cans for coins. Not sure why they're in the garbage, but whatever. Why wow, no coins? So, there's a boomerang bro here. Wah! Hey you, what did you do to the dynamo? Ha ha ha, you just now noticing? This ballpark is under the control of Bowser's minions. Ah, you there, help! 
What's wrong with you dodos? You want to get hit with my boomerang? Well, alright, don't say I didn't warn you. So I've got a boomerang bro here. We've gotta get an out with a buddy move. Shame we can't use boo. Uh, but... Jeez, we can't use anyone we've picked up at Wario Stadium here. Wario, Boo, Paratroopa, and Goomba all have nobody here they harmonize with. You know what? Baby Peach. He bats with a boomerang! And Toad's with us chemistry with Baby Peach. Using chemistry, press B for a buddy toss, then throw a buddy strike. For some reason, none of the adults have chemistry with their babe with their younger selves. I didn't exactly mean to do that. to toss it, and yeah, we're not gonna turn around. Well, I was not close enough to that ball. Okay. Give me a break. And of course he's safe. I don't know what was going on there. Missed. There we go. Right on your tail. Uh, I feel like hitting a ball with a boomerang would not be the most effective idea. And I messed that one up because I had Toadsworth move and start off throwing the ball to Daisy. And that should do it. Okay, we should be able to fix the dynamo now. Drafty diapers, how did you nobody's beat me? None of that matters though. This dynamo is still busted. I want it and fill it with the electrical circuits. I see a plumber with you guys, but not an electrician. Har har. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Say, so, you think you could fix the dynamo too? The circuit parts are out of whack and I can't move them. Maybe you could move them with Wario's magnet. Hey, hands off my magnet. Oh fine, let me see what me and my magnet can do. What my magnet and I can do. Point with the Wii Remote, then press and hold A to move the magnet. To rotate the magnet, twist the Wii Remote to the left and right. Parts are scattered around the circuit, grab and move them with a the magnet. Put the red, yellow, and blue parts in the right places and the electricity will flow. So, just take the magnet, move it around, don't get shocked. Got the red piece. Uh, okay, I guess I can't get it that way. And we've got the yellow piece. Put the red one there. Now we're gonna turn around. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Watch out! Don't shock yourself! At least it doesn't make me start all over. And... Good, we're facing the right way. Wait for it. And... Give me a break! It 
went move. Okay, go through this again. Thank you! Whoop, whoopity doo! The dynamo's up and running! Bowser Jr. is just like his pops, a real piece of bad news. If you don't mind, I'd like to join you. I want to give that guy what for. We have Red Koopa, a player who can use a spin attack. Spin attack is basically just a close play that knocks the, the fielder back further. Look, the fog around the ballpark is clearing out, too. Looks like we'll be able to play baseball now. And it's Bowser Jr. Boo! Yeah! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You, you're the one who hid the rich glitter and goodness of my ballpark with this fog. Ah, oh, come on, this place is an eyesore. You've got no class at all. The world should thank me for my service. Service? Service? Stay where you are, fang face. I'm gonna teach you some manners. Bring it, garlic breath. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> we'll see about that. But before we take on Bass Jr., there's one more teammate we can get. Okay, we have plenty of coins now. I've got up to this poster with Peach. Yay! Yippee, you found it! This poster is really cool, you can hide behind it, you know? I mean, it kind of looked like you were trapped in it. I used it when Bowser Jr. was here, that guy shares the shell scares the shell off me. You're going to challenge him? Wow, are you brave? Or, well, let's just, let's be brave. You want my help? Yeah, I suppose I could do that. But they have to prove that you're serious. You gotta beat me first. Why not? Get it out with a quick throw. And gotta use Peach or Baby Peach. So, second mission in a row. For Baby Peach, I mean. Koopa's at the plate. Baby Peach's shortstop. Just grab the ball and toss it. Wait, doesn't Baby Peach have bad chemistry with Petey Piranha? Is this game just being mean to me? Oh, well, that's done. You guys are a decent ball club. I'm going with you. And we have Koopa. A steady bat with low power and some speed. And a spin attack. So, this episode hasn't been running for that long, so I'll go ahead and take on Bowser Jr. now. You again? Wah, how dare you, my, my beautiful ballpark. Now that the fog is lifting, I can see how lame this park really is. I'm gonna stomp you, then remodel this entire place. Maybe build a nice statue of me. Mich our mission is to win the game. The warrior is our captain. Put in some of the characters we got from this ballpark. Uh, Mario and Donkey Kong. All star cast. Okay, so paratroopers chemistry with the Koopas. Just for variety. Uh, I'll put Goomba out here. 
I guess not just for variety, really. Uh, Boo and Donkey Kong are loners. go. Batting order is looking pretty good. At least as good as we can get it. And let's start the game. The Wario Muscles versus the Bowser Jr. Rookies. They're batting first. And as you can see, Bowser Jr.'s team leads by one in this game. Now, Wario's description said he had good stamina. He can go quite a few innings pitching without getting tired. And they're just fouling like maniacs. And yes, that buddy toss between right field and second base. I like how they always celebrate together when they do a buddy toss or buddy jump. Hey, I had Goomba toss into Koopa's hands. And now here's Bowser Jr. Oh, great. That was right on the line. Uh, they weren't close enough for a buddy. Toss. And how about a phony ball? So you get this. Huh, you can't. Ah, oh, Wario, seriously? Okay, they have one point even though they didn't actually score. We got Mario, Luigi, and Donkey Kong. We just need two points to win. Great. Haha, oh, <laughs> it was being dumb. Just barely. Okay, come on, Donkey Kong, you can get this RBI. Better yet, a two-run homer. Like that. Do they have the buddy badge out there? Uh, surprisingly, no they don't. That's a walk-off home run. And only three batters needed. And I wonder who's going to be MVP. Most of my team hardly did it. I'm going to see this box score. 140 batting for Donkey Kong. I think that's a bit much even for a walk-off home run. Where I got five for strikeout. Luigi got some batting and items in. Goomba and Red Koopa got some for that buddy toss. Fielding. And Boo, Koopa, and Paratroopa did nothing. Junior got bad again items and nobody else on his team did anything right. Losers. Oh, poor no, no, no! You must have cheated! This stupid ballpark, the sight lines are terrible. Bah, who needs a rundown ballpark like this? I'll just go take over another park. <laughs> you can now play gem catch. It's King Boo. Boo, ha ha. Hey, you defeated Bowser Jr. 
I wondered who would win, so I made myself invisible and watched the whole thing. You both look like bench warmers to me. Say what? You want me to help you? No, not even if you had some booze on your roster. Well, if you had some booze with you, I might. And we do have boo, but... Hey, did... hey, you, did you find some booze? Boo-hoo-ha, here are your hints. Error item and in a box, make sure you get them all. So, we have the player boo, but there's still a boo item we need to get before he'll join our team. So, now that Bowser Jr. is gone from Wario Stadium, I'm gonna end it off here. Next time on Mario Super Sluggers, we're going to find Bowser Jr. in the last ballpark of the game. See you then.